Hello, welcome back to East Coast Box. This is 2022, uh, September 30th, actually, 2022. I'm getting ready to slide out here uh, in a few minutes. I'm going to hunt the rest of the day. we got that big hurricane pushing in this evening, and I feel pretty good about it. I'm going to head over to Maryland, hunt one of my spots over there. Uh, Virginia's not in yet. I think they had a youth season come in last week, something like that. But, of course, I just bow hunt. So, anyways, let me jump right into this hunt. This hunt's from about 12 years ago. All these hunts were hunts that were supposed to be released last year on a uh, little company that was supposed to put these videos out, videos out last year. I'm not going to mention any names because it's a whole other subject, uh, but pretty much I got ripped off by some money paying these guys to show these hunts that never got shown. So I'm going to pump them all out on YouTube and I'm going to try to keep them a little shorter because if you're like me, <laughs> you don't really want to watch a long hunting video. There's so many of them out here. So let's jump right into this. I gained permission on this piece of property out here in Virginia by doing a roof for this lady. I do construction and a uh, little tip for you guys, you know, you do favors. I, you know, I asked the lady, I said, you know, I'll, I threw in a couple extras. I think I threw in the gutters for free. If she, you know, I said, would you mind if I bow hunt? I bow hunt, would you mind if I hunted your property? And she said, well, I don't allow any hunting, but I never had a bow hunter ask me. I said, well, that's all I do is bow hunt. So that's a little tip. She was more than happy to let me bow hunt it. Uh, now I told her, I said, you know, I'll probably only be here two or three times because I have quite a few different properties I hunt. They're all small, but that's how I gain access and gain permission to a lot of them by doing little favors like that. And uh, just a little tip for what everybody thinks you get. Oh, you got all these big leases and, you know, spend all this money on leases. I don't spend any money on any lease. And uh, never have. Uh, hopefully I never have to. I'm not against it. But I do a lot of favors, which, you know, in reality, that costs money as well. But uh, I'd rather do a favor so for somebody rather than giving them cold, hard cash. And uh, so, you know, that's how I get access on some of these nice pieces of property. They're not huge, but I've got a lot of different ones from doing little favors like that. So for those of you to say, where's this guy hunting? He's hunting here, hunting there. That's just a little tip, dude. You know, did the same thing in Maryland. I'm from Maryland, grew up doing that, and a lot of them I still hunt to this day, and that's how I got permission on them. So let's jump right into this hunt. What I wanted to talk about in this video, because everybody says, oh, we saw all these Maryland hunts. I'm a, the first three videos this year are going to be all Virginia hunts, uh, hunting over acorns. This was the first week of the season. This particular buck, I hunted this place uh, a couple times. This was the fall. I didn't kill anything on it the first year I got permission on it. I wanted to see what was going on. Uh, the properties next to it got fairly good pressure, and I could see that it had a lot of gun pressure. So I saw one particular buck. I'm like, you know what? If that buck's still around next year, uh, and he's about the same size, I had a buddy who was wanting some deer meat that had helped me on that job. I said, you know what? He said, why don't you go ahead, you know, uh, get me a deer. I'll go ahead and pay to get it cut up. Meep. Meep.
Well, came back this morning and picked up the blood trail where he went over the cliff of the mountain. Literally up over that next basically cliff. Virginia cliff up there. And I thought he was dead. It was a good shot, but he got up and went over that cliff and made a lot of noise going on the way down, so I wasn't sure how far he went. So like they say, when in doubt, back out. I came back this morning, and he was 10 yards from the bottom of the cliff, and I think he pretty much tumbled the whole way. Um, I'm going to see if I can get him down to this flatter part and do a little bit better recovery video. Um, nice deer, it's the deer I thought I was. Thought it was. Well, here he is. Came back this morning, recovered him. Came off this cliff behind me, as you can see. He pretty much tumbled, <coughs> tumbled down this cliff behind me. Um, it was basically, uh, I think I got a piece of the heart. Um, it was a little low, that's why I waited till this morning. Um, when I seen him go over this steep cliff, I didn't know how far down he came. Uh, turns out he tumbled most of the way to the bottom. So I'm gonna have a heck of a time getting him out of here, but um, this is Hollywood. It's not the biggest deer in these, biggest buck in these woods by any means, but he was an older deer that was on the hit list in uh, Fort Virginia. Not a bad bow harvest. Um, like I say, I've got uh, a couple more tags and there's a couple more big ones in here. And filming this all myself, um, it's a little tougher than having a cameraman over your shoulder, so it's hard to get everything lined up, but I hope the video turns out pretty good. Took a peek at it last night and it seemed like, um, seemed like I got the shot on and had them coming in pretty good. Um,